morning everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching I do appreciate it we are currently on the A46 heading towards Bath we um, we got three runs scheduled today we've done the first run well our first run is out of South Surrey we haven't done it yet we're on our way to Bath which is our first run and then we've got to pop into Bristol and do two runs from Bristol one to St Phillips and one to Longwell Green and then I suspect head back to South Sydney again, preload ready for tomorrow morning. So with a bit of luck, we could be finishing relatively early today, which would be quite nice. We had a 13-hour shift yesterday and then an early start this morning. We were at the yard before five o'clock this morning and out on the road. And I know that's not mega early compared to some people. And I've started earlier in the past before, but it, five o'clock is relatively early relatively early. I've just passed um, on the M4, just before you get off at Junction 17 Bath, a lorry has come off the motorway and driven literally halfway across a field on the left. And I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert, but it looks like no effort in braking was made. So I hope that driver's okay. But um, there was about six different ambulances and all sorts over, over there. It, it, it's obviously just happened, but I can see that motorway being a nightmare later for people trying to get towards Bath and Bristol. Yeah, hopefully the drivers are right, but it, it don't look good because from what I could see, he, he should have stopped a lot sooner if, if he was conscious. So fingers crossed that driver's okay. But yeah, um, three runners today, that's what we've got to do. And that is what we are going to do. Yesterday we had three ones, but to chat them twice. And it wasn't really anything special yesterday, but never mind. Uh, news, if you haven't already uh, followed me on my Facebook page, then why not? It's facebook.com forward slash LucasinHTV. I'm always updating pictures and posts and videos almost every day and almost a few times in every day. So. Um, if you want to see more content from myself, go over there. But if you are already a fan of my Facebook page, then you will already know that I'm creating a second channel. Now, it was going to be called Luke C on a PC, but it's just going to be called Luke C now. And basically, it's going to be a second channel that I can upload content onto, which is non-HGV related. So, for example, my Silverstone uh, experience wasn't really HG, well, it isn't a HGV experience. So I, I uploaded it onto my HGV page because that's the only page I had. But from now on, I'm going to upload stuff like that onto my second page. And it's also going to be a page where I'm going to do some gaming because I am a gamer. I am into games. I've got a £2,000 PC, i7, GTX 1080, you know, all that graphics card. I've got a £500 racing wheel. I am, you know, a gamer. I, I've always been a gamer, but I just don't play as much as I want to or would like to because of my job. But I, I do plan on uploading some video game content as well as potential, you know, podcasts or even reaction videos. I know some people don't like reaction videos, but who knows? I don't know. Depends depends on how I feel and what the mood takes me, I suppose. But yeah, second channel is going to be called Luke C. Um, at the moment, because it's such a new channel, if you just search Luke C, it just comes up with my page, which obviously my, my Luke C and HTV page. So. Um, it is quite hard to find. <laughs> That's the only problem having two channel names that are similar when Luke, my Luxie and HTV page dominates. But if you're on desktop, then my new page should be down under my uh, Luxie's recommended pages. And if you're on mobile, I'm not entirely sure what you can do, but you might be able to find it there as well. If not, just type in the URL youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Luke Cuss. That's my surname. So L U K E C U S S. I couldn't have Luke C because some prick's taken it. <laughs> and obviously, there's another Luke C around, so yeah. YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash Luke Cuss. I haven't got any videos uploaded to it yet, but I do currently have 250 subscribers, so <laughs> there's, a, there's a good chance I've gained more subscribers in one day on that channel than my actual Luke and HTV page has in the last week. But never mind, it's all good in the hood. But yeah, if you can go and subscribe to my new page, I would greatly appreciate that. We are, like I said, we're on our way to Bath. This particular place we're going to is uh, a particular company that I shall not name. Long-time viewers will, will know who it is. But um, 
they tend to get there quite early so my ETA there is half past six it's quarter past six now and I'm hoping I'll be the first one to arrive because if I'm not then I'm going to be there a while waiting for the other trucks to get out of the way so hopefully I'm going to be the first one there get out nice and early and that will like really help me out for the rest of the day then with a bit of luck we've also got a new guy starting now um, so Wayne, I know Wayne sometimes watches my vlogs. He's actually someone I used to work with when I was on the eight wheeler tippers. And um, he said yesterday, it's quite funny because when I joined the tippers, I would be driving all his old trucks. All the trucks that he had driven in the past, I would then go on and drive. And now he's working for JK, he's now driving all the trucks that I've driven. It's like reverse and roll. <laughs> so that's quite cool, quite funny. But yeah, um, I'm sure he's gonna get on with the job all right can't be worse than the agency blokes we had on recently so we need to come off down here there's a speed camera here so we want to make sure we're not speeding don't speed Luke it's a 50 mile an hour speed limit currently doing 48 get past the speed camera <sighs> yawning I've also got um, some plans today so like I said we're operating out of Bristol and this particular Bristol branch is so tight it's unbelievable sight. It's so tight that I've got to take off my airlines because there's a risk I will slap them. I've got to jackknife the lorry to get round. And um, I am actually going to try and film it. Yeah, I'm going to film it. Because it's not actually a place I deliver to. So, I mean, I might get in trouble for this, but I am going to film it anyway. Just once, just to show you guys what, it, what it's like. I'll probably just do the uh, camera just facing me. So um, you can't actually see out and about but I have got a jackknife it. Got to do a hard turn, turn turn right as fast as you can. You still can't make it. Then you've got to reverse and turn left. Meanwhile, your, your trailer's right next to your window, pretty much. And then you've got to turn right and carry on driving out again. So I'll show you that so you know what it's like. I used to work in Bath at Curry's. When I worked for Curry's PC World, Bath was the first store I worked at worked there for a good year or so, transferred to the um, the Chippenham store, worked there for a good year or so, and then transferred to Swindon, and then quit, because I gave up, I didn't want to do it anymore, got fed up with customers. Woke up one morning and I thought, do you know what, I've had enough of customers, because the customers believe they are always right as well, and it's not true. Come then, turn green. There's nothing coming. Literally nothing on the roundabout. Still, literally nothing on the roundabout. Thank you very much. No need for that to be red for so long. Anyway, it's getting quite sunny, isn't it? Sun is making an appearance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now you want to turn red. Well, at least there's cars waiting, I suppose. There's cars waiting, so that's all fair and square. Fair game in it, that is. Oh, dear. Bath can be a nightmare, especially when it's busy. I mean, right now it's 20 past six, so it's really quiet, but rush hour traffic, Bath is a nightmare. This is ram packed. You get cars come down the second lane, overtaking you and cutting in last minute. Obviously now it's fine and it's quiet, but like I said, during the rush hours, I'm not there. Right, anyway, I'm gonna continue driving on to my destination and I will see you when we leave. Right, so, I've had a massive brain fart this morning. I, I even said to you guys earlier on in the vlog that this place tips you early and it's true they do and for some reason i got into my head i needed to be here for half past six that's not the case i actually needed to be here for half past five so it was, i actually arrived an hour later than what i should have arrived so straight away that's put me an hour behind now for the rest of the day however um say i got here for half past five they start tipping you at six o'clock and then you get out by seven o'clock um, it's actually only 12 past 7 now, 12 minutes past 7, so I've only actually lost 12 minutes, so luckily it's not too bad. 
12 minutes ain't the end of the world. So, and also, um, I told Southampton that I would be at Bristol, Southampton are the headquarters, that I, t I told them I'd be at Bristol by eight o'clock, uh, ready for my second load. And the ETA is two minutes past eight, so once again, we're actually on schedule, really. Even though we arrived an hour later than what I wanted to, to, to arrive at, we are still on schedule. But that doesn't mean that next time I can arrive at half past six. It was just lucky that there was no one else queuing to get in. I, I arrived and that was it. I was straight in. So I'm quite lucky in that sense. But yeah, it's all good. So now we're on our way to Bristol. Uh, and our next one, I believe, is to St. Philip. So that's where we're going to go now. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are now driving down to the place where we get loaded. You're going to see me have to do that tight 180 in a second. I've taken all the Susies off. Curtains are open. We've got to squeeze past these trucks now as well. So this is going to be fun. He's going to want to know where I'm going in a sec. Good morning. St. Phillips. And then Long Wild Green. Long, Long Wild Green, yeah. That's it. What? Very, very tight. Curtains might have just clipped that guy's mirror, but never mind. Only a little clip. Right, here we go. Got to go far forward as we can, so we can spin round. And go. Now we can't go any further because there's a bollard there, so now we have to reverse and go left. This is where the cables would snap if they were on, pretty much. Part of me thinks I could do it without snapping them, but you just don't want to risk it. Now I've got to watch the back end and the front end. All clear. I just need to straighten up. I think that'll do. There we go, all good. So that's what it's like having to do a little tight 180 in here. Um. Yeah, we're just leaving the second job now. And we're doing really good for time. In fact, we're doing too good for time. <laughs> yeah, I'll, get, I'll get the feeling that I'm gonna do this third job and then I'm gonna have to go back and do a fourth job at Bristol. But ideally, I'd rather go straight back to South Cerny and either preload for the morning or do a fourth job at Cerny, ideally. Because Bristol's a nightmare, having to undo your curtains both sides and undo your airlines and do that. A 180 degree turn, it's just a nightmare when I do that all the time. But um, yeah, getting into the job we were just at, um, it's one of those sites where they have to go outside to stop the traffic because you have to do a relatively straightforward reverse into the site. It's not a hard reverse. However, this particular time I didn't get in 100%. I got a little bit too close to, uh, well, actually, I wasn't close at all to the gate. They got these, um, what I can only describe as cages where they put like a pallet of blocks on and they, were, they had a cage um, near the gate and I couldn't see the cage because it was grey, it was the same colour as the tarmac so it was pretty much for 50 feet away almost invisible so um, I got very close to it and they were, they were shouting whoa 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 before I hit it and um, so I was like alright well obviously I need to get over to the right a little bit so I'm reversing, I need to get the trailer over to the right a little bit so I need to turn my wheel to the left I'm turning my wheel to the left and I'm starting reversing. They go, whoa, 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 other way, other way. So I then turn my wheel to the right. As I turn my wheel to the right, the trailer then goes to the left and it was on the left hand side. I was getting close to it. And they're like, whoa, 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 you're hitting it. Why can't you do it? What? And I'm like, mate, you're telling me 
to turn right, which is then going to make the trailer turn left. Basically, they don't know how a lorry operates. <laughs> if they knew how the lorry operates, then they would have just let me do what I was doing in the first place and turn the steering wheel left, which then the trailer would have went right, which is what I was originally trying to do. But they were telling me to stop and telling me to turn the other way. So, um, this particular company who I never mention, please train your um, banksman how a lorry operates before someone gets injured. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, I, I said, mate, you, you need to understand that an Arctic, if, if we're turning left, the trailer's going right. It's the opposite to a rigid. And uh, anyone who's got a class one license will know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyone who doesn't have a class one license, well, you just learned something if you didn't already know that. It's not straightforward reversing the trailer. It is relatively easy once you get the hang of it, but it's uh, for people who have no clue, like this banksman didn't have a clue how a, lor or how a lorry operates. Mistakes are going to happen and people will one day get hurt. So You know who you are, Mr. Company, because I know you watch my videos. <laughs> So yes, anyway, we are heading back to uh, Bristol, in particular Avonmouth, and then we are going to get loaded for Longwell Green, which is not the same company, it's a different company, but I have been to this place before and it's one of those sites where there's not a lot of room to park outside the yard without blocking traffic, so I'm just going to have to hope for the best, hopefully there's no other truck there, we can just park there. Mm. I'll have to wait and see. Anyway, see you in a bit. Right, so we're now on our way to our third and final drop off today um, at Longwell Green. And actually, we're doing really well for time. It's only 11 o'clock, but I, I can see myself being here for quite a while. I can definitely see myself being here until at the very least 12 o'clock. But I'm thinking it's going to be more like half 12, I reckon, before I even leave. That's what I think, anyway. And then. Um, Head office from Southampton, they phoned up, asked me how I was getting on, told them, then asked them what I was doing after this. They told me to go straight back to South Cerny and preload for tomorrow. So with a bit of luck, we can be back in Cerny for two o'clock. And um, maybe even earlier than that, like half one. Preload and go home. <laughs> so um, fingers crossed, I don't want to say it too much, but fingers crossed, could be in the yard by like, by definitely by four o'clock, hopefully by three o'clock. So, um, but shh, I'm not going to say anything else, otherwise things are going to get messed up. Like I said, I've been to this place before and um, it's a bit of a nightmare. You got It's one of those places where you've got to wait for room to get in. There's no dedicated heat, well there is a dedicated HGV space, but there's um, trucks and vans and stuff that are parking in the way. So you've got to wait for all the vans to move out of the way. And of course, if there's already trucks in there, then you're going to have to wait for the trucks to move as well. But um, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see on that one been a really good day today so far I just oh excuse me you're not gonna let me through are you no um, <laughs> oh yeah that's what I was gonna say I nearly forgot yeah I just got loaded again at Bristol obviously and um, you know how I said last time it's a bit annoying having to undo both curtains undo Susie's and keep doing that all the time but actually I've decided to keep the Susie's on and just test it out because I've been looking and, and I'm thinking, you know what, I think it might be okay because it was okay on my other trailer. I just don't want to risk it on this trailer because it's a slightly different layout. So um, I tried it and it was fine. So that's that's a good thing because it's just one less thing I've got to do all the time. I haven't to undo, there's five Susie's, so I haven't to undo five Susie's every time and then put the five Susie's back on every time. It's like 30 times you're undoing it and do it back up again. And on top of doing the curtains and it just it just takes up time not too much time like you can get it off get them all off in like 30 seconds and all back on again within 30 seconds but it's just the astral doing it it's just more work in it so um yeah that's that's good that is good anyway i'm gonna crack on get this load delivered and i'll speak to you when we are probably when we're actually at south Cerny and loaded. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we have done three loads today. Uh, one out of Cerny down to Bath, from Bath then into Bristol, and we've done two from Bristol. We've done St. Philip's and we've done Longwell Green. Well, 
because we've had such a quick day, we are now doing a fourth run as well. We come all the way back to South Sydney. We were back here, I think, for about one o'clock. Um, got reloaded. Uh, had my break because I needed the break, and um, now we're on our way to Gloucester. So we're actually going down Birdlip Hill right now. Ah, stuck in traffic. It's always bad around about this sort of time going down Birdlip Hill. Sort of anywhere between one o'clock afterwards, then um, gets quite busy. And it's currently quarter to three. I have phoned them. I told them I'll be there between three o'clock and quarter past three. Current ETA is ten past three, so we are on schedule. And um, we're going to, well, this particular place we're going to, it's actually a really nice place. You drive in one way, you drive out the other way, and um, plenty of turning space as well. So, and most, yeah, every time I've been here, they've, they've had me out pretty fast. So I'm hoping for a quick turnaround, go back to South Cerny, and then I've got to reload back up again for a, another run to Bath in the morning, and then operate our Bristol again tomorrow. So that'd be fun. Although I expect I'm probably going to get Rington. I almost guarantee I'm going to get Rington. And I hate that place because it's so tight. Getting an Arctic out of the yard. But we'll have to see on that one. We'll have to wait and see. But, um, but yeah, never mind. Anyway, let's crack on to Gloucester. Let's get this last load off for today. The fourth load. Making the money for my boss and I. And go back turning and get it preloaded for tomorrow. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are just leaving our fourth job now, and uh, <laughs> I've just had a phone call from South Cerny asking how long I'm going to be, uh, and I apologise if you're watching this, South Cerny, but you are obviously only asking me how long I'm going to be because you are panicking as to whether or not I'm going to make it back and not to preload, because I need to preload for tomorrow, don't I? Because I got to go to Bath. But you decided to send me out on a fourth run, and now you're panicking. I'm not going to make it back, and that is true. I might not make it back. My ETA back is five o'clock, so I think they've got to stay on late to load me, which is uh, <coughs> their own fault. In fact, I bet some of them probably go home. I almost guarantee you at least one or two of them will not be there when I get there. They get to go home early. I don't. I got to carry on working. And then start early again tomorrow morning. And I know I'm ranting and reading. That is, that's this industry. It's just this industry all over. You can have a nice. What did I say earlier about not saying it too much about finishing early? I did, didn't I? I said it earlier. You should never ever say you're going to finish early, and I did. And this is what happens. I have to then do a fourth run, and then also then go back and reload and finish late. Now I know five o'clock getting that late on the finish when you think about it, but I did start at five o'clock this morning, so it will be a 12 hour shift. Which is I mean, it's pretty normal for me to be fair, 12 hour shifts every day. But it's the fact that I've got to get up early tomorrow morning as well, like I've got to be on the road tomorrow morning for about four, half four. So I probably ain't gonna get home tonight until about six o'clock, maybe but probably half past six. Yeah, a video will be uploaded over the weekend. 